Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. The individuals depicted have been arrested but not convicted at the time of story postings. This information does not infer or imply guilt of any actions or activity other than their arrest. We make no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy of this data. Welcome back. I'm Ralph Mangum here on the WHKY News, and this is the Crime Report. With three Caldwell County arrests, including one suspect jailed under almost a $1 million bond, here's WHKY's Ariana Mack. A man was charged with trafficking in marijuana. 22-year-old Mustafa Ali of Archdale, North Carolina, was arrested on Tuesday by Lenore police officers. He was charged with two felony counts trafficking in marijuana. Ali was jailed under $950,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. He is scheduled to appear in district court on October 9th. No other details were released. A Lenore woman was arrested for speeding to elude arrest. 38-year-old Kayla Brianne Serios of Lenore was arrested on Tuesday by Lenore police officers. She was charged with felony, speeding to elude arrest with a motor vehicle and misdemeanor, driving while impaired. Serios was jailed under $75,000 secured bond and given a custody release. A district court date is scheduled for October 9th. And a road hiss man arrested for having controlled substance on a penal institute. 53-year-old Brian Keith Kelly of Road Hiss was arrested on Tuesday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He was charged with one felony count possession of controlled substance on a penal institution. Kelly was jailed under $20,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. No court dates were listed. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. WHKY's Rob Eastwood has details on a case in which officers seized drugs and fake IDs. We initially reported on the arrests of the two suspects charged in this case in our crime report on Tuesday. 45-year-old Harry Jason Gardner and 26-year-old Dakota Lynn Burleson, both of Lenore, were arrested Monday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. Both suspects are charged with possession with intent to sell and deliver methamphetamine and possession of drug paraphernalia. Gardner is also charged with two counts of possession of fraudulent identification. Monday at 3.50 p.m., a vehicle stop was conducted on a silver Chevrolet Cobalt displaying an expired Tennessee registration plate. The vehicle was stopped after it was seen driving in an unsafe manner on Rocky Road in Lenore. The driver of the vehicle was identified as Harry Jason Gardner. Gardner is on probation related to a firearm case in Burke County. The vehicle was searched and investigators found 15 grams of methamphetamine and drug paraphernalia. During the search, police also found a fraudulent Burke County Sheriff's Office identification badge and a fraudulent UNC Health Blue Ridge identification badge. You have been looking at the items seized by police. Both suspects were incarcerated in the Caldwell County Detention Center following their arrests under $50,000 secured bond apiece. They were both awaiting Wednesday district court dates. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thanks, Rob. 38-year-old Paul Sullivan of Berkshire Drive in Hickory was arrested by Catawba County Sheriff's Officers Monday on 11 counts of third-degree sexual exploitation of a minor and 8 counts of second-degree sexual exploitation of a minor. Sullivan was jailed in the Catawba County Detention Facility under a $310,000 bond. A first appearance in district court was scheduled on October 8th. 57-year-old Joseph Benjamin Costner of Conover was arrested by Newton police on two counts of third-degree sexual exploitation of a minor. Costner was placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility on October 9th without bond. A district court date was set for October 14th. 42-year-old Daniel Ray Chavez of Acorn Village Road in Conover was arrested by Hickory Police Saturday on two counts of felony habitual larceny. He was also served with an outstanding felony warrant issued last month on unspecified charges. 
Chavez was taken into custody without incident at 5.10 p.m. Saturday at a hardware store on 21st Street Drive southeast in Hickory. He was taken to the Catawba County Detention Facility under an $8,000 secured bond. He has since been released. Chavez has a number of upcoming district court dates, including appearances in Gaston County on October 10th and 11th on habitual larceny charges, in Catawba County on October 24th for a misdemeanor out-of-county probation violation, in Burke County on October 25th for giving fictitious info to an officer, and in Iredell County on November 4th on one count of felony larceny and multiple counts of misdemeanor larceny. 47-year-old Albert Morrison Jr. of 8th Avenue Drive Southeast in Hickory was arrested by Hickory Police Sunday morning on a felony count of breaking and entering and misdemeanor counts of resisting, delaying, or obstructing a public officer and failure to appear on a second-degree trespassing charge. He was also served an outstanding misdemeanor warrant from October of last year for second-degree trespassing. Morrison was taken into custody at about 11.10 a.m. Sunday at an apartment in the Sunny Valley Complex on 3rd Avenue Southeast in Hickory. According to HPD's arrest report, he was combative at the time of his arrest and was not photographed or fingerprinted at the police department. Morrison was jailed in the Catawba County Detention Facility under a $5,500 secured bond. At last report, he remained in jail. A first appearance in district court was scheduled Monday with additional court dates coming up on October 21st and 28th, all in Newton. And 59-year-old Rexy Franklin Pichon of Twitty Lane in Statesville has been arrested by Iredell County Sheriff's officers on a felony count of possession of methamphetamine and a misdemeanor count of possession of drug paraphernalia. On October 2nd, an officer conducted a traffic stop on a Yamaha scooter traveling on Island Ford Road near Watermelon Road. The scooter had no registration plate. During the stop, the officer asked the driver, Rexy Franklin Pichon, to get off the scooter and inquired if he had any weapons. The suspect immediately placed his right hand in his pants pocket and turned away. The officer prevented Pichon from retrieving anything from his pocket and asked what he was attempting to reach. Pichon then admitted to possessing a meth pipe. A subsequent search turned up a bag of crystal meth, a glass pipe, and a syringe in the suspect's pocket. Pichon was placed in the Iredell County Detention Center under a $3,500 secured bond. He'll appear in district court on November 7th with another court date on several vehicular infractions coming up on November 20th. That wraps up your crime report. Thanks for your support. For WHKY, I'm Ralph Mangum reminding you to keep it clean and keep it legal. Thank <laughs> you.